color. Take cover. This is red light. Red light. Hi guys and a warm welcome to the unboxing of the Aceboat weather station. We will see here the unboxing and a little bit of coding and a little bit of testing. So we started with um, opening the box of course, now we set up the servo and uh, we are now coupling the uh, processor on the board and we did this in fast forward but I think you can uh, if you need to study you can put in lower speed okay uh, we've been uh, for assembly we used the um, tutorial <laughs> uh, which we found online and now you see that uh, my friend uh, assembled the batteries and now con uh, and the sensor on the main board and now uh, connecting other three sensors. Uh, the, the process of assembling is pretty straightforward, uh, but you have to pay attention to each step so you don't have to go back. Fortunately, we didn't have to go back. Um, the assembly was tricky in some parts, not now, but already it's advanced. Now it's time to connect the wires to the processor each. Pay attention to how you... Ah, for... we forgot to open the um, stickers <laughs> and we noticed that we can't see anything through the glass and also the uh, these parts of the uh, weather station had stickers yeah not very smart from us this part was a bit tricky because you have to put a nut in that uh, um, weird location and you have to be a handy person so now it's the solar panels now for the wind also pay attention to the instructions, they are pretty clear in that portion. Uh, we found that the wires was a little short for this, but still managed to do it. Okay. What now? Yeah. Um, here for assembly we use the, also the video, the video instruction. On YouTube I will post a link to the that those uh, instructions on this video now it's coding we've been to the Acebot uh, website downloaded um, the app for coding Ace code and uh, installed it um, also pretty straightforward got some errors on the way but magically <laughs> went away for coding, we use the tutorial programs, zero coding experience here, but the tutorials were very good. It saved us much time. <laughs> After the fun part, testing the Acebot, because these guys trusted their robots that much that they sent one to us with zero experience and we kind of managed to build it and managed to code it thanks to the tutorials. And now let's test it. Okay, we have already uh, install the Acebot application and I'm going to open it and here we are as we can see the weather station we want to control the weather station I've added the IP of the Acebot weather station connected and connection successful and let's see our readings we have here light and uv they say it's zero but let's see what they think if i put it in the sun oh what do you know we have uv 9 10 oh you should wear sunscreen the weather looks nice shiny and no wind but Weather changes fast and we have the nice weather station and what does it show? Oh my god, is it a tornado? Whoa, it's really windy today guys. And we have wind with speeds of over, 
I need another pair of glasses. I believe it's six almost. Let's talk a little about light. We are now in the darkness, but this will change soon. Like now, we have three types of light and suddenly it went to zero. Start. Oh, and it sees red light. We have a smaller value and zero UV. And last but not least, daylight. Ta -da! And we have different reading, sensor adjusting. Let's see on the screen right here what it shows. It shows one, eight to nine. Another beautiful day, beautiful weather, sunny with great UV and atmospheric pressure and no rain, but what? What do I hear? Oh no, umbrella fast. It started to rain. Oh, take cover. <laughs> I think it's gonna rain very heavily, guys. We have a reading of 969. It's raining all right. Let's play a little bit with air quality. And we're gonna make some smoke, but there is no smoke without fire. So keep your fingers crossed and let's hope we will have some readings. Okay, right now readings are 27. But let's put this under. Oh, fast, fast. Unbelievable. The reading is going up very high. In nature, things can change very fast. And now we are having a nice setup, interesting setup with vibrations. Hopefully we don't get to leave this. And what do you know? We have vibrations and vibrations in very powerful UV light. <laughs> okay, to sum up everything, uh, this is for me, for us, it's first view of this kind of product, so weather station from Acebot. How was the build-up process? The build-up process was easy, uh, but it was done by somebody who had some experience. So for me, it would have been a little bit harder. The coding experience was um, also easy because of the tutorials and uh, this is uh, many lessons that are in the coding uh, applications so you can learn. Then how is the usage? Usage is fun. This is the best part. You can see live data, you can learn about humidity, air pressure, uh, small particles in the air. Um, this is fun about light. Um, I'm sure there is a lot to learn and discover by using this. Um, it would be interesting if this station would send alerts on phone. Uh, I couldn't connect it to the phone hotspot, I connected it to the router. And uh, always be careful that it is loaded, it has battery, so you can work with it. Also, it was spooky the fact that the <laughs> when I coded it, the um, solar panel was moving so fast suddenly and then <laughs> it spooked me out. Uh, overall, amazing experience and uh, great product. Fun, educational and you should test it yourself. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one, guys. Day and night, night and day.